Hello friends, this video on solutions part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The question says a solution is prepared by mixing 30 gram of 25% solution and 400 gram of 40% solution by mass. Find the mass percent of resulting solution. That means, so this is let's suppose 300 gram. This is 300 gram of total solution. This is 400 gram of total solution. Total, you mix it, you get 700 gram. This is my solution. So this solution, the first solution is 25% and the second solution is 40%. So if you see the mass, we define the mass percentage. Mass percentage is what? Mass of solute by mass of solution. Please note it's not sol solvent, it's solution. Most of the case it is solution, only in case of molality it is solvent into hundred. So if you find the mass percentage of this solution that is we don't know so for that we define the mass of solute total mass of solute total mass of solution we know right so let's find the total mass of solute so let's see what is the mass of solute here so in this case it is 25 percent solution right so here solute will be how much 25 percent of 300 gram that is nothing but 75 gram. So the solute here is 75 gram. Similarly here 40% of 400 gram that is nothing but 160 gram. So here my solute is 160 gram is my solute. So if my solute is 75 gram here 160 gram here what is the total solute? Total will be what 75 plus 160 that is 235 gram of solute see that's how you add you add solution solution 300 plus 400 700 you add solute solute 75 plus 160 to 35 you can add solvent solvent also but that is not required for us so mass percent of final solution is the mass of solute in final solution by mass of Final solution. This is solution A, solution 2, and this is my final solution. So, what is the mass of solid in final solution? 235 gram. You can see. What is the mass of final solution? That is 700 gram into 100. You saw that put this value in this 33.57%. So mass percent of solute actually mass percent of final solution solute. If you want to find the mass percentage of solute in final solution, you get 33.57. You want to find the mass percentage of solvent, you can just say that or I can just show you mass percentage of solvent in final solution. Is equal to 100 minus mass percentage of solute in final solution and that is nothing but 100 minus this value 33.57 that is 66.43 percent correct so the point I'm trying to say is when you add you add solute solute and when you add solution you add solution to solution so there was a solution 300 gram here that had 75 gram solute solution 400 grams 160 gram solute when you mix it then the quantity of solute will be 75 plus 160 is 235 gram solute and solution will be 700 gram you can easily find the mass percentage of solute in this solution that will come out to be mass of solute by total mass of solution into 100 that is 33.57 percent if you want to find the mass percent of solvent you can just say 100 minus the mass percent of solute in the final solution
Let's take one example here. It's a pretty easy one. 90 free solutions prepared from 22.6, triple 2.6 uh, ethylene glycol and 200 gram of water. We have to find the molarity of the solution and also we have to find the molarity of the solution if density is given. So we will talk about this why ethylene glycol is used as anti Reaching agent in the later few slides. Just understand this question now. Here we define this molality. So molality is what? Moles of first let's find which is solute which is solvent. So red one is my solute, and here my solute is what? Glycol. And my solvent is the blue one. And my solvent here is water and this is my 200 gram and that is 222.6 gram so if you see here the solute quantity is more than solvent but still we are saying water is solvent because it is water which is dissolving the ethylene glycol correct so molarity of this uh, solution will be the moles of solute it is the moles of glycol divide by mass of solvent here please note mass of solvent it is mass of water in kg correct that is the thing so what is the moles of glycol pretty easy mass by molar mass so let's find mole of glycol nothing but mass of glycol by molar mass of glycol what is the mass of glycol given triple 2.6 gram what is the molar mass of glycol so molar mass of glycol we can easily find actually so let's do this here carbon is 2 2 into 12 Hydrogen is 6, 6 into 1, oxygen is 2, 2 into 16, 32, 38 and 24, 62, this is 62 gram per, let me write here, 62 gram per, you solve this gram, gram gets cancelled, you get 3.59 moles, that is my moles of glycol. So let me put this in this equation now. This has become 3.59 moles of glycol by mass of water. That is 200 gram. I will make it to kg. 200 by 1000 kg. So what you get is 17.95 moles per kg. That is small. That is my molarity. Pretty easy. Now I have to find molarity. So in the last slide, let me see what we have found. We have found that moles of glycol was 3.59 moles. That this information will keep. So now you define the molarity. Molarity is nothing but moles of solute, that is my glycol here. by volume of solution correct so what is the volume of solution see density is mass by volume so volume will be volume of solution will be mass of solution by density of solution what is the mass of solution so 22.6 is the ethylene glycol and 200 is the water so you add them you get the mass of solution that is 200 plus uh, 200 gram plus 222.6 gram that is nothing but 422.6 gram is the mass of solution Please note it is 422.6 gram because we are talking about the mass of solution. We are not talking only about the mass of water, we are talking about the whole mass of solution. And what is the density of solution given? 
1.072 gram per milliliter gram gram gets cancelled what you get is 394.21 milliliter but you want this in uh, liter correct this becomes divide by 1000 that is nothing but 394.21 divided by 1000 liter and that is nothing but 0.39421 liter that is my volume of solution so let me put in this formula now. molarity is nothing but moles of glycol we just found 3.59 moles by volume of solution that is 0.39421 liters right moles per liter so if you solve this you get 9.1 moles per liter and that is nothing but capital 9.1 m molarity correct It says the sample of drinking water was found to be contaminated with chloroform and that is carcinogen uh, that is it causes cancer. The level of contamination was 15 part per million by mass. Please note it is given ppm by mass. Correct? Not by moles, it's by mass, not by volume also, right? By mass. So when you say ppm, you have to tell by mass, by volume, by moles. So it's by mass. You have to express this in percent by mass. So first do that. See 15 part per million by mass means what? So if I have a, a one 15 parts per million that means 1 million 1 million 1 million gram of solution will have how much? 15 gram of CACL correct so 1 million is nothing but 10 to the power 6 10 to the power 6 gram of solution will have 15 gram or 1 gram of solution or let's take 100 gram because generally we take 100 gram let's take the solution as 100 gram 100 gram solution so 100 gram of solution will have how much will have 15 into 10 to the power minus 4 because you multiply both sides into 10 to the power minus 4 gram of CHCl3 find mass percent pretty easy it's nothing but mass of CHCl3 by mass of whole solution into 100 so here it is 15 into 10 to the power minus 4 is the mass of CHCl3 mass of whole solution is 100 gram into 100 percentage and that is nothing but 1 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 percentage. you see it's a very small percentage that's why we denote in ppm that is done the next is find the molality of chloroform so molality is what is smaller that is moles of solute that is CSCL3 here by mass of solvent and that is what water in kg so we are assuming the mass of whole solution is 100 gram and since this uh, uh, CACL3 is not contributing much that is will be the mass of solvent also because the solute mass is almost zero right is, you see for 100 gram solution uh, it's 15 to the power minus 4 gram almost 0 so mass of CSC moles of CSCL3 is mass of CSCL3 divided by molar mass so mass of CSCL3 is in a 100 gram solution is what this many grams so 15 to the power minus 4 grams by molar mass of CSCL3 I can find pretty uh, quickly so molar mass will be what Carbon is 12, hydrogen is 1, chlorine is 35.5 into 3, that is 106.5, total is 1.19.5. This is 119.5 gram per mole. This is the moles of CSCL3 divided by 
mass of solvent in kg so 100 gram is nothing but 100 gram by 1000 kg so you solve this you get 1.254 into the power minus 4 that is the molality of this solution thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again